Tony and Tony. Yeah. Yay, thank you, sir. Okay, cool. All of the people come back here already, right? Let's start. Oh, I hope you see my screen. Can see, right? Okay, so welcome to the session, Replaining Overview. Yay. Okay, so just a little bit of introduction. I'm Vietnamese. My full name is very long, Nguyễn Ngọc Minh Trang, but you can call me Mina Gildes and uh, all of my social media channels or uh, like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, and TikTok called Minh Trang Yuan. Yeah, cool. And uh, I was MCVP OTV and alumni engagement from MC Vietnam of last term, and right now I'm elected uh, regional manager. Yeah, for next term. Okay, so I'll pass to my boss here. Amazing people, sorry. <clears throat> I'm in the restaurant. I hope you can hear my voice clearly. So my name is Tony. Yeah, we met in the morning, and meet in the afternoon, and tomorrow you still meet me again. So yeah, nice to see you everyone. I will call the deliver with a link to the deliver this session here. Nice. Okay, just a little bit of the facts. Uh, I'm learning, I'm learning uh, Mandarin. And uh, I learned from uh, from my boss here and from Serafina as well. So <laughs> this is my idol. This is Wang Yibo. Yeah. So just a little bit of check in here. One words to describe your feeling before replanning. Yeah. Okay. You can type in the chat box or you can open your camera. Sorry. Open your mic and say yes. Or no. Oh, I think Indonesia excited. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being RM is the privilege, so your idol. Yeah, apply to, ah, oh, you can be RSD and you can show your idol as well. <laughs> Ali, Keen, cool, here we go again. <laughs> okay, excited. Anything else? Excited. Cool. Okay, so just a little bit of check-in. If you are not um, uh, typing in the chat box, I hope that you still have some words and some feeling in your head right now before coming. <laughs> I think you know, that's I'm very excited. Ah, okay, cool. Nice. Okay, so that's why we bring to, to you to this section uh, of replanning overview. So right now you will have the time to have the very like big picture why, how, what to prepare before coming to the replanning. And also you can have some tips and also a lesson learned from me as I will share my experience of um, me doing replanning of last term as well. Cool. Nice. So this is passing to my boss here to present for you the big picture. Cool. Amazing. So thank you, Ming. Before we we'll officially start the uh, planning preparation, like reminder, so later on, we'll show you what is the key change about replanning framework. But just on the reminder, because all the designing and customization will still rely on the MCP. So I, I hope after this session, the first goal that actually you should do is go and ask your MCP, what should I prepare? What can I work on to ensure I have a better quality of the replanning experience there? So yeah. Later, I will elaborate the plan preparation time frame. We focus on July to December 2021. So all the preparations start in this frame. So yeah, let's start it. So while it's going on the next, before we move on the next one, what is replanning? It's a one like that. Uh, when you experience the planning and you plus RE there, and here we go the replanning. Okay, that's a real language. So before we officially start the uh, replanning preparation or the framework reply, you can uh you can use this link. So CC, I hope you can put this link and also into the Telegram group chat for delegation. Amazing, thank you, Yeti. So like the link screen eight, uh later on, you have any question, you can type your name, your entity. So then I will have a working time to reply all of your uh like the questions there after this session. So I hope you can get all the answers by before tomorrow, and then you can bring forward to your replenish. So let's start it. So here comes the first function we're going to do. Yes, where are the GT people? So for GTA, GTE, and the VPP people, the program complex sector is a preparation for all the product. We'll focus on the July to uh, next year June. So all the performance analysis will uh, focus on the previous like the six months or happening there. 
and like it's optional for any teams to compare with the last term period because I think still it's really relevant when it comes to 2021 term and also 2022 term. So these like that you can evaluate how's the performance going and also can predict what's the performance goal you want to achieve by the future. So yes, I think this is the first framework like the what's the difference compared to last framework. So it helps you to evaluate all the scenarios and all the like the uh, prediction you want to set a goal in the future based on your end context. So yeah, that's the first for GT and what's the next function. Next function is GD. Yes, GD people. I hope, yeah, right now we have this. Uh, risk assessment and mitigation plan, and also have more concrete output there. So you can know like the, what is the uh, external context, internal context, and also this preparation audit score can let you know what is your goal, and also if you want to resume the GD operation in the future, how to prepare and working on it. So this is the GD preparation checklist, and also like these are the things you'll be aware of that. And don't forget, no matter what kind of the uh, uh, output you have, don't forget to write out your harvest learning because all of them is will bring to the the planning output and also you'll help you to foresee what is the direction for and straight you want to build as GD. So yeah, that is all for the GD, like the context preparation sheet and why is the next function. Next function is MXP, TM people right now. I think last time you feel really lost, right? Like the, you have the GD funnel and all the preparation there. But I think like the, this is also the thing we will emphasize and also uh, when regarding the TM funnel, I hope the MC funnel will have a clear idea and also can put some data in there. But if you both still don't have the plan to measure uh, the MXP funnel and also all the preparation there, I hope tomorrow GCD sharing our lovely like the MCVP from India and also she's GST GST Shara will share her GCP about how to prepare as TN and also working on MXP like the uh, funnel there. So if you do have the uh, evaluation about funnel, make sure like the MXP can cover there. But if you don't have Think about what can start from this turn and show after the plan you start to establish your entity tracker and you measure by the human performance and massive performance you want to measure there. So these are the major changes and compared to previous six months only. You just need to measure the one semester because we just start establishing the MSU funnel at this point. So yeah, that's all for MXP. And yeah, one more thing, like the list is also like the breakdown analysis into roles and different duration of the program. Because as we mentioned, right? MST have a short term, medium term, and also long term program there. So make sure, like, the dig into detail process because it will help you to make sure you suffer that as MST can have a clear idea about short, uh, what, how many, how many performance you want to achieve in short term, medium term, and long term, and how the retention and also pipeline deploy when it comes to this program experience there. Nice. Ooh, okay, sorry. I think that we still have lots of words, right? Okay, I'll try to figure it out. But yeah, I'll try to say it out loud to ensure you are totally like to understand what I'm saying here. And uh, also, well, when it comes to program context preparation, don't forget like the least like the fulfillment MPS can also take into consideration. Ensure like the MPS can be measured uh, in this like the program uh, analysis in this context. Yeah, that's all for the MXP. And finance people, something new here because in the past we didn't mention the cash flow. So I think like there's something to start to prepare and working on it is about cash flow. Yeah, cash flow, cash flow is really important because like the, in the past we didn't measure it, right? And also cash flow is the way we can help you to predict what is how much like the uh, cash you see, you see about from the others and also predict how much cash flow you can work on it. Especially for energy, you do have some finance challenge in currency. So I hope in the reporting part, you can also review your cash flow budget analysis I think also when you were in the finance summit, you also understand what is this concept and also the deliver from your city and also uh, from the level of the app. So yeah, this is from the finance preparation. After finance, what is the next function? Yes, so rest of the part when regarding the BD, EWA, marketing, and OD, we keep the previous like the film as the same. But like the yeah, the time frame still focus on the previous, like the July to December 2021, and the flow is same. So don't forget, like if you already realize, okay, this is the same framework. You can directly look into previous relationship or as your MCP can provide you in advance and you can start to do a research analysis. And when you bring to the planning, you are well prepared, well organized, and all these contacts can help you to bring to as way forward, bring to a returning discussion. So yeah, that is the major change when it comes to all the function referring to what change. So yeah, I think during that's all. Uh, let's check if perhaps some something additional information should be reminded. I think, yeah, that's all. And later, I will check the question there because right now I don't want to spend the time to work on Q&A because it will make affect the quality and also what is the major problem of the data there. 
So yeah, I think I'll bring back to me. You can move it forward. Thank you, Funny. Okay, cool. So I hope that you can have a very big picture, like what changed and what remained the same, right? And then you also can follow up with your MCP. And before that, if you have any questions, uh, you can put in the chat. Sorry, you can put in the, the link that uh, we sent in the group. After this section, you can follow up later with the one who, who won the answer from. Cool. Okay, so uh, now next to me, I want to emphasize here for you guys to, to know that replanning is, is problem solving, right? So we need to analyze and we will have to see like what's happened in the past six months. And right now we can see what is the problems we can solve and we make it a priority. But don't get strapped by your six month experience. So below are the three common traps that you can get. Okay, so the first one is jump into the conclusion too fast. So this is me and my teammate in our MC replenish. <laughs> so you can have, like I have the uniform from, a, I think in Australia here. And uh, yeah, so at that time I, I remember that I have some of my experience in the last six months that we, we are dragging GV and we cannot continue something like that. And I jumped into the conclusion too fast that right now um, the commissions cannot do anything. Yeah, in this kind of like uh, context of COVID-19. Yeah, so I'm, I jumped into conclusion too fast and my team got like a little bit demotivated because uh, I based on my, I based on my, um, how to say, experience to say with my MC teams. And also the number two will be expertise trap. Uh, in here, I have my teammates. Uh, you can see the one with the, the, the hair. Yeah, with um, yeah, the girl next to me. So this is my synergy mates, my very close synergy mates. Yeah, at that time I run for the products as OGV and C run for marketing for OGV. So at that time, I, I, I based on my experience and my expertise to say to the, all the people in my MC team that I cannot run without her. Yeah, uh, which means that um, I need to have someone to play and someone to uh, handle the marketing part for me. And number three, past experience can be your friend or either can be your enemy as well because you can jump into the conclusion too fast. Cool. So. After that, we go to the problem solving as we need to define because if right now we, we just based on the context of COVID-19 and we cannot run TV because uh, in Vietnam, people tend to be very, um, the parents from Vietnam tend to be very uh, protective for, the, for the, the, the kid and they don't allow the kid to go outside the country to do volunteers. So it's very hard for us and we just like do farm matching. So we match for the, la the next year and we keep that customer in the funnel. Yeah, so that for next year, they can realize that we don't know how and, and, and like how can they can realize. Yeah, so at that time, we feel a little bit demotivated for the whole commission uh, from my LCB OGV as well. So that's why we need to do like bring this input into replanning. So we have four S method for problem solving. So the first one is state the problems, which means you define what problems you are attempting to solve. And at that time, for my case, is how I can give a direction for my LCV OGV and also how we can re like uh, utilize the resources that we have as OGV to continue like contribute for the MC team. Cool. So when you state for the problems, you need to ask some of the questions here as what's the trouble? What are the symptoms? What would define the success? What proof do you have that the problem exists? How long has the problem existed? What are the constraints that we are, would be operating under? Who own the problems? and who are the key stakeholder. Yeah, as I shared to you, right? So the whole commissions, we're still doing matching, but we fulfill the TV minimum, we do matching, but we don't know that for next year they can realize or fly to another country or not. And the whole commission feel demotivated. And we don't have any revenue stream actually coming from OGV for my MC team as well, because all the money that we get from the customer is just alone. 
So which means we need to refund for them back if they cannot do. Yeah, so we cannot use that money for the operation in the whole MC team, right? So which means I feel like a little bit demotivated because all of the thing I do in the last six months is like doing something to keep continue the operation. Yeah, for the last year. That is my context. So after you listed down all the problems you have everywhere, right? Then you need to structure them for the problems as we can identify to the potential cause for the problems. And you need to group them because sometimes we can see a lot of problems. We, we, we actually, when we list now, we see like thousands of problems, but when we grouping them, maybe it just have the three group of problems. So you need to see the group of the problems to find out the cause. Yeah, because I still remember that my leader said to me, sometimes you can see the problem as A, B, C, 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 B, A, A, B. But at the end of the day, it's just the problem of A, B, C. It's just like repeated in another way. Yeah, so that's why you need to identify by grouping them. Because I, as I was MCVP, I tend to be confused and lost if I see a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, so I think you guys can share some like uh, similar feeling with me. That's why we need to fight, um, fight down the way as the fishbone diagram. Okay, I hope that you already know this one. Or if you don't know, you can also can shut on the Google to see what is the fishbone diagram and how to use it. Cool. Before that, remember to ask five wives because when you have a problem, maybe it's just like, like it's very light. You need to go deeper into it by asking why to have the root cause and the root problems of that. Cool. Then after that, you need to solve that by generating the uh, generating the solution by following one of the three here as desire thinking. Yeah, so I based on my case, I based a lot of design thinking. So you need to empathize and define the problem first. After that, ideate, prototype, and then just run as a pilot. So testing first. Yeah. And then to see where you can utilize which LC to run. And then after that, can come back to um, make it nationally for the whole commission. Cool. Yeah, so I will share with you about my experience of replanning. So at that time, we, as I collect a lot of ideas from my MC teams, as you can see here on the screen, a lot. <laughs> yeah, so we need to have um, all the brainstorming and creative space to do the brainstorming as well. It's just not the problem solving, but it needs to be creative and think for the future. Yeah. And at that time was my case as OGV, we have um, like um, a gorgeous years of running TV. So we have a pool of the returnees, the alumni from TV. So they went TV and then they have a lot of good experience with TV. That's why we can use like that pool to engage with the alumni. Yeah, so this is some of the idea from MC teams, how we can utilize the pool from alumni um, and how we can reconnect with the alumni from the uh, perspective of the national. Cool. And then based on all of the ideas, you need to think for like the next six months in the future and also your successor term as well. How we can continually like doing something. And at that time, we define that we need to focus on alumni pool from Isaac. Yeah, which is who, who are Isaac in the past and uh, TV alumni as well, because we, we work for OGV, right? We have a lot of alumni from TV. So we can utilize them for another products of Isaac, or we can utilize them to engage with Isaac with another like project to have the revenue stream and we need to survive. Cool. So that's why I have two strategy here as the reposition. Yeah, cool. So I need to do the whole like change management from OGV to alumni engagement side. And if I just based on my six month experience, I would say I cannot do that. And then that's how literally I cry in the middle of free planning because people like just motivated me that, hey, you can do that. You can, 
you can stop OTV and you can do something else like very yeah and at that time I feel very jealous with my teammates in the MC team right because they they they're very lucky they have like a, a product that they can stick for and they also have a JD that is very clear but for me I need to be reallocated and other things that is super new and I need to create something in a, like from from zero <laughs> yeah literally I feel very scary and cry in the middle of the of the replay. Cool. Then number four, it's very important because you need to communicate, right? When you have the solution and you fail to sell that solution to your network, then how can you make the strategy happen, right? Because you need to use the whole network and they need to do with you. Yeah, so you cannot do it alone. Even you have your like entity supporting teams, but you still cannot do it alone because you need to um, make people buy in your ideas and you need to communicate and sell your solution to the network and get the input from them. Don't just think it alone. Because when you think alone, people will not buy in and they will do something else in the local level. And uh, it will lead to two scenarios. The first scenario is they do something else and you totally don't know anything. <laughs> you do something else. So you separate into two parts, two body. Yeah, scenario number two is they do something else and you need to support and console them for that things. And also you need to make them do something that you already strive for. So it's make the people and the, the network feel very, how to say healthy because it's like double shady of them. Cool. So don't get trapped into my like uh, failure. Aware that need to communicate with your network and do with them. So after communicate, receive their input and also reply them with their perspective as well, because they have some input in the local. This is something that I capture from, from my MCP email when we, when we announced to them that we changed something. So for OGV, change it into alumni engagement. And for IGV, we change it into youth engagement. Yeah, cool. So that's why we need to reply them with the passions and also the perspective from the local side, how they can still, um, if they change into this idea and do the whole with the, the national directions, how they can benefit from them, from the local entities input. Yeah. For how the revenue streams can be affected and also how they can get some revenue stream from the local uh, level side if they change into this like uh, uh, directions yeah also how they can sustain the non-virtual products because at that time we have like uh, we still we um, implement vbp and also we do something like as as the whole mc teams and the whole network to still uh, we we need to like nurture the applicants from the otx side for them to 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 still aware about that product in the future because if we totally shut down we cannot say that hey we are from isaac because we <laughs> we totally don't run anything from like the product or portfolio from isaac right so it's it doesn't make sense that's why we need to still nurturing them to aware about this one as well cool and also how we can switch the human resources from commissions because you, you can know that in my context, uh, uh, um, I think in Vietnam, we have, uh, I grow up in OGV function and we are very crowded because that is a focused product. So we have a lot of human resources there. A lot of people like very proud of the crowded like kid um, in the house. Yeah, so that's why we need to, to, to also onboard them about the commission allocation and how MCVB can handle and support the LCVP side. Also for B2C marketing, if the marketing side is running something for OGV side, then right now how the marketing people can support other product to support that product to grow. But don't make the products that we are focused on because the last six months we focus on OGV and right now we focus something else like GTA or VPP and the, the marketing B2C also support that products. So how we can make people feel that we are contributing in a big picture. It's not just like we are abundant, a function, 
and move to another function. Yeah, so that is the thing that we need to communicate with the, the, the top leaders in the local entity as well. Yeah, so this is all the things that we communicate to them. Cool. And uh, before you start replanning, a few things to take note here. As I said before, replanning is not just a problem solving. It's a space for you to welcome some new ideas and leverage the entity opportunities as well. Because at that time, we can see some opportunities from our alumni. Um, because in this year, as my successor terms, we celebrate 15 years anniversary from Isaac in Vietnam. Yeah, so a lot of like alumni, they can contribute for, for like engage them back to contribute for the entities. Also, they, they can donate for them, uh, for us. They can donate for Isaac in Vietnam and also they can um, give Isaac in Vietnam some opportunities to do sales because they have a lot of network outside. They jump into the business world already. And also for uh, OGV pool, they, they has a very good experience with OGV side. They can re-engage with Isaac to uh, join others project or other products. Yeah, so we see some opportunities and we need to welcome some new idea so we can leverage the entity opportunities. But at the same time, I still um, continue to fulfill the GV minimum and also see some potential to bring GV back in the future if we can. Yeah, so that is the purpose of replanning and a very strong why of that as well. Cool. So this is two models of thought that uh, I want to introduce you guys so that you can also implement that in your replanning. Cool. The first one is system thinking number one. Fast, automatic, frequent, emotional, stereotypic, unconscious. Number two is slow, effortful, infrequent, logical, calculating, and conscious. So the fast and automatic, it can be based on your past experience. It can be based on your expertise, how you can give your input to the whole MC team in replanning. But number two, slow down and be logical to calculating all the risk effort that you should make there so that you can have the, um, um a balance between those oh uh, are you going with me so far or if you have any questions you can put in the chat box as well okay nice number two approach so i will introduce you the approach approach number one is focusing on problem solving prioritization lean solution short and medium terms reflection approach number two is you based on the future, future proof focus, long term, look forward, opportunity focus. And uh, if you cannot make it in a very short terms, like um, you feel like we just have six months left to do whatever we say, then you need to see very far from the future how your successor can contribute to that as well. Because sometimes if we change to something as well, like for, for example, I change from OGV side to alumni engagement side, I cannot make it successfully and booming in the in a very short time, like six months, right? So I need to see like whether it's like long, long time, like for one year or two years, how it's going on. And transit that picture for your successor as well. So be balanced between those two, those system thinking thoughts and also approach way. Cool. Nice. So uh, I just want to like bring to you some news before you go into the breakout room as uh, we will prepare the breakout room for you guys. So the shock news number one, I don't want to make you shock, but this makes me shock as well when I was MCVP. So it's better that you know right now. Uh, the first news is you will have your successor soon in the next few months. Yeah, so I feel like house, because right now I still stay in the MC house, uh, the the MC house of, um, of the new MC, of my successor MC, uh, because I stuck here in Ho Chi Minh City, so I stay here. Yeah, and then I feel like, wow, my successor is gonna have a successor already in the next few months. It's very fast. Okay, the shock new number two, 
and she will be very easy, like busy guiding them. We might not have enough time to deliver what you promised to the whole network. Like you promised that like, I, I will do this project, that project, uh, this strategy happened, that strategy happens, a lot of things happen. But then you realize that your time is blocking by the successor. Like you need to do transition or something like that, and then you need to do final report. Wow. So you need to prioritize the effective way and creative way for your term. Cool. So right now, I hope that you guys can um, can think about one opportunities, one problems, and one opportunities you can leverage on when you want to bring you to the replanning. Okay. So I uh, will tell the CC to have the breakout room for you guys for ten minutes. A uh, breakout room of three to four people. Yeah. So I hope that CC can arrange for me. It just randomly. Yeah. You can randomly do it. So go into the breakout room, discuss about one problems and one opportunities you want to bring to your MC replanning. Okay, you got me? No one said anything, so I think you already got it right. Yes. Thank you, Shalene. Thank you, Minji. Oh, Minji Chichir. Okay, cool. So I hope that you guys can have 10 minutes. Enjoy. What's your Right. Cool. CC, are you ready? Uh, yes, just give me a second. Yay. Thank you, guys. You can enjoy. Thank you. Bye bye. Go to the breakout room. Oh, Celine cannot see. You can choose the breakout room and go directly there. Can you see it, Celine? Yes, it's a sign one room to Celine. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mekata. <laughs> uh, Yati, you can pause the recording. Yeah. Hello, welcome back, people. Yay. Okay, so I hope that after the sharing just now, you will have, um, I don't know that you do you play werewolf or not, but you will have a, a death model and a, a what? Um, a bottle for life or something. Yeah, so it's like one problem you need to solve and one opportunity you need to leverage that you can bring that two bottles to your MC replanning. Yeah, and then you show people. Okay, so if you can uh, see anything interesting or you can find out some, something that you find is super cool from your teammate in a tribe, in a tribe. Yeah, so you can type in the chat box as well so we can read it. Cool, welcome back, people. Yeah, so uh, we just have, yeah, maybe we can have one sharing. So is there anyone wanna share something? From what you have shared with your tribe? Or if no, I will try to call out a name <laughs> to invite you for sharing. Oh, so I invite Anneke Julianita. You want to share something? 
Okay. So, uh, sorry, I use uh, this uh, account. Um, yeah, so I'm from the Tribe 3, and uh, I was with MC uh, Isaac in Australia and also Isaac in Vietnam. And I think uh, the problem that we currently face uh, mostly is from our uh, brand as an Isaac. Um, like uh, we wanted to shift from uh, exchange uh, exchange organizations uh, brand to the leadership organizations brand. So that is uh, something that we are currently uh, dealing with. And um, I think from uh, my side in ISEC in Indonesia, uh, the problem that we face as in EUI department is that uh, there are still LCs that not really uh, aware about the EUI principles. And I think that can damage our, and also violate our uh, brand as ISEC. And uh, we're progressing towards that since uh, the opportunity that we have is that uh, more else's are aware with the uh, benefits of joining uh, our program. And also, uh, we are working through the standardization system in IWA uh, itself. So I think uh, the next step that I wanted to go is to make uh, the uh, IWA initiative audit assessment so that uh, more else's um can know like which side they're uh, violating and so on and also from the marketing sites i think uh, isaac in indonesia will uh work towards um more purposeful partnership with our media partners so yeah i think that's it thank you and uh, i'm happy to see your teammate together with you as well so you can have like um have free sharing okay cool thank you so uh, this is just like the conclusion of my of my section and totally section together as well. So we have an hour of replan. Uh, sorry, an hour of planning can save you ten hours of doing right. So do you see the code of replanning? An hour of replanning can support you to finish your term strong because you can see for the next six months what you're gonna prioritize and what opportunity you're gonna leverage. Okay, cool. So that's it for today. Thank you for coming. And uh, remember to fill the feedback form. And I just like want to introduce you guys the one word in Vietnamese as go learn. Go learn means try your best. And it's in Mandarin of Tony is Jayo. Jayo. Cool. So that's it for today. Thank you for coming. Sishe means.